Okay, Paul Hamilton here. We're going to create this sort of setup today. Uh, we're gonna to create a little AR, VR, slash whatever reality you want. If I press play here, uh, we're gonna do this little knockdown activity. Super easy to make, but let's get started. All right, so if you're new to Reality Composer, I'll go through fairly slow with this tutorial just so that um, you can kind of rewatch it and go from there. So when we create a new project, we're gonna go with horizontal. Okay, and it comes up with our template. We've got a couple of things here. Now, to move around our environment, I'm pinching here to get close to it. It does take a while to get to know how to kind of work around this environment. So I'm gonna delete that, but I'm gonna keep my cube here. So what I'm doing here is I've got two fingers on my screen and I'm kind of scrolling, pinching and moving in. So I've got this beautiful little cube. Let's get this and look at some shortcuts. So I'm gonna to touch the cube and I'm gonna make this uh, aluminium. Okay, um, so it's kind of look like it's steel, that sort of stuff. I'm not gonna change any of these, but I am gonna turn on the physics down the bottom here. Okay, so I've turned on the physics. I'm not gonna make this cube concrete. Let's make it plastic. And see where it says motion type here? I'm gonna change that from fixed to dynamic. That means it'll move when I'm kind of, when I knock it and do some different things with it. Uh, collision shape, gonna keep that the same. It's all looking great. So what we can do now is up the top there, I'm just gonna turn off that so you can see my whole screen. I'm actually going to duplicate and just build a little bit of a wall. So I'm gonna to touch that cube once, duplicate, and I'm gonna do that a couple of times. So that's three. So I've got a, a nice little wall there. Let's, let's make one more. So I'm gonna duplicate, I'm touching it, comes up with duplicate, and I'm there. So that's gonna be really slow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to touch with one of my fingers and I'm gonna to touch, hold down and touch the others so I make multiple selections. That's gonna speed things up. Now I'm gonna duplicate. I'm going to hold my finger down on the green and raise it so it clicks in and then hold my finger down on the red and move that whole row over super quick. And what that's doing is it's not only duplicating the cube but the properties of that dynamic, um, uh, physics as well. So let's do that. Let's do one more, but this time I'm going to be really tricky and see if I can select all. So what I'm doing is I'm holding my finger down on that first cube and then touching the other cubes to multiple select. Super easy. Take my finger off and duplicate, move them over by dragging the red arrow, drag the green arrow. I'm not sure if I think I've overlaid there and up the top there, make sure that it kind of snaps in. So snap, snap. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if I've done that right. I don't think, I think it's slightly off. I might just snap that up. Let's go down the bottom and snap it up one, snap it there. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna press play. Now, if I look at that carefully, you can see I haven't got those top layers right. So I'm gonna go back, my back arrow's up the top, and I'm just gonna make sure that that sits nicely. Let's try that. Now, when I press play, if they're not right, they're gonna tumble down because I've got graphics. Ooh, it's swaying a little bit. You can see it swaying. That's pretty good. Okay, so it's still there. I'm gonna pinch out, and that's my wall. Super easy to do. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is add, go to plus at the top. Now I could use just a sphere for this, but I'm actually going to bring in a baseball. So if I go down, these are all um, in the cloud at the moment, so I need to download it. So when I hit the ball, oh, it's come in pretty quick. It's made a fool out of me, but that's okay. I'm going to hold down my blue. So I'm dragging, I'm touching and dragging, and I'm moving the ball around to kind of get it in the right spot. Here it is there, that's looking great. Now if I touch the baseball, what do I need to do? Well, I need to hit my properties again and I need to turn on my physics. See down the bottom there? Physics, dynamic, and that's basically it. So when I press play at the top, my tower is a bit wobbly because I've got the physics applied to all those cubes, but nothing's happening. So I need to do just one behavior and it's super easy. At the top, next to the AR at the top, there is a line there, that's my behaviors. I'm going to start a new behavior, hit custom. Now, what do I want? What's the trigger? Well, I actually want to tap. What do I want to tap? I need to tap 
the baseball. See how it's gone green? I'm going to press done. So I've got one simple behavior. When I tap the ball, what do I want to happen? Well, over here, the action that I actually want is I want to, let's look, add force. Now, if with two fingers, I'm just going to spin my scene around so that you can see the angle there. It's saying, what angle do you want to actually put it on? So I actually want to touch the blue here and angle it at the top. Okay. Velocity. Well, that's 18 kilometers an hour. We can make that fast or slow. We could do some pretty cool stuff with that, but I reckon that's enough to test that now. So if I'm actually looking at that now, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to click on my behaviors to get rid of that. And I'm actually going to view this just in VR or kind of on my screen first. So if I tap my ball, Nothing's happening. That's because I need to play my scenario. So I'm going to press play at the top. Now I'm ready to go. Oh, that wall's looking pretty wobbly. Let's touch the baseball and see what happens. Oh, that's looking awesome. So I could play around with this now. I'd actually, I could press the ball and just drag the blue back and get back a little bit. I think it's ready to view it in AR. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press the AR button at the top. It's going to look for the plane on my table. It's a bit big, so I'm gonna pinch. I'm gonna pinch and make it smaller. There we go, where's my ball? Oh, there it is there. I'm gonna press play at the top and I'm ready to line it up. Let's look at it from an angle and touch. Oh, that's awesome. Obviously it's not picking up the planes in the background. That's a bit dodgy, but we could actually play around with different things. Now, the great thing about this is I could actually kind of move it to the side a little bit. It's gonna go in the same direction, press play again, and see what happens when I hit it on the side. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, what if I bring it over here, just on the angle, press play. Oh, it just kind of hits the edges. Great fun, super easy to do, um, creating one simple behavior and this beautiful kind of knock them down scene in Reality Composer. Hope you found that useful. I'm uploading it right now to YouTube. Um, hopefully you can learn a little bit about Reality Composer, 3D environments, and applying some basic physics, physics and behaviors to your project. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.